What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike Versbrill, and for today's video, I'm testing out the magnetic filter system called the K-Series by H&Y Filters. Now full disclosure, H&Y Filters sent me this for free to test out and share my opinion with you guys. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, going over the pros and the cons. So without further ado, let's jump into the review. First things first, I love the fact that these filters are magnetic. I've fallen in love with magnetic filters a couple years ago when companies start making them because of how easy they are to take on and off, as well as stacking multiple filters together. No more sliding filters into slots and sometimes they slip right through or struggling to get them aligned properly otherwise they'll get stuck. So the way that the H&Y filter system works is you attach your step up ring to your camera lens. They sell step up rings from 49mm all the way up to 86mm. They also have an adapter for the Nikon 14-24 2.8S lens, which I unfortunately do not have yet to test out. So I ended up taking my test shots with my Nikon 20mm 1.8S lens with the 77mm adapter ring. The filter holder is pretty easy to attach by loosening up the thumb screws, then sliding it around the step up ring. Then simply rotate the filter holder in the orientation that you want it and tighten down the thumb screws. The K-Series system has several ND, CPL, and Astro filters that you can use in conjunction with the magnetic filters. Simply drop the 95mm circular filter into the slot and then you can rotate it for your desired effect. I'm using the supplied CPL filter in this clip. The 100mm rectangular magnetic filters attach very easily and can be locked down for extra security. The magnetic pull is not overly strong, so it makes changing filters with gloves on a breeze compared to other filter systems. You can easily stack multiple magnetic filters in front of each other as well. Just be aware that the more filters you stack, the more you'll increase the vignetting in your photo. H&Y also sells magnetic frames for those of you that already own 100mm and 150mm rectangular filters. That way you don't have to go out and buy all brand new ND filters and instead you can just purchase the magnetic frames saving you a little bit of money. I have seen mixed reviews about these frames which were both positive and negative and unfortunately I don't have one to test out to give you guys my two cents so just keep that in mind. They also sell a magnetic lens cover that you can use to protect your camera lens and filter while using the filter holder. So as far as the filter system holder itself, I couldn't find anything I disliked other than the fact that the pouch it comes in doesn't have a belt loop. I like to keep my filters on my belt for easy access, especially when I'm standing over water or near ledges instead of working out of my backpack, which puts my other gear at risk. H&Y also sent me several filters to test out with the K-Series system, which all came in their own protective pouch. They are made of Gorilla Glass and seem to be pretty durable. The first filter I tested out was their 0.9 Reverse ND Graduated Filter, which works great for seascape photography at sunrise and sunset. This is a 150mm filter that you could slide up or down along the frame to position the darkest area of the filter at the horizon. I love the look this filter helps you achieve right out of the box with minimal editing. I didn't notice too much color shift and vignetting when using this in conjunction with my circular CPL filter. The next filter I tested out was their ND1000, which is great for really long exposures. This produced more vignetting due to how dark it is and it warmed up the image as well. However, it was pretty easy to correct the white balance and post-processing. Both of the filters I tested did not seem to affect the sharpness of the image when I pixel peeped them at 300%. And the last filter that I tested was their light pollution reduction filter. And in all honesty, you really don't need one of these filters you're better off stacking your images to create more dynamic range, and that way you can reduce your light pollution that way. Um, these filters, they're very expensive, so you're better off saving your money and putting it towards another ND filter instead. That's just my two cents, but I think that money's better well spent with the ND filter instead of one of these guys. So overall, I really enjoyed shooting with the K-Series filter system by H&Y Filters. I do plan on migrating everything over to a different pouch though. I know it's a small gripe of mine, but I do prefer having that belt loop because that's how I like to work from my belt with my filters and not have to carry around my whole backpack with me. Uh, small little gripe, nothing major. I know switching over to a new system is very expensive, but I promise you, once you try magnetic filters, you really don't want to go back to the older antiquated systems that we've been using in the past. So hopefully this review helped you guys out. I'm going to leave links down below if you need more information like pricing and things of that nature. So check that out in the description. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.